Hey guys, Dan Hood, Big DH2000. Let's look at some shaping. I've actually just put this on the big belt sander over there just to give it a little, take the worst of it off. It works best that way. Uh, understand that when you got the hardware on here, uh, which I have to have to keep the things in place, um, sometimes you're going to ruin it, but I always buy big bags of this kind of hardware, so I got plenty of spares. And then I keep, since this is the first time I'm actually doing clips like this, even if I ruin them a little bit, the um, hardware, I'll just keep the hardware as my rough hardware from here on out. Um, but I have plenty of other sets to put on if I need to. So let's get going with the spindle sander.
Okay, guys. One side's rough shaped, okay, including the inside. Okay. I'll go do the other side in a little bit. I do a little bit at a time. Uh, if you work too hard, sometimes the spindle sander gets too hot or the product gets too hot, which is not really a good thing. Okay. Um, so anyway, there you go. You see what I do now uh, when I'm shaping. Um, I'll do the finish up the other side. I've already done this, but I need to finish up all of this. Um, the one thing... Normally I do a lot. I can do a fair amount of this with the belt sander and then come fine tune it Fine tune it over here. The problem is is that these Are in the way so I couldn't really think of another way to do it by taking those off because I might mess up the clip area And I didn't want to do that. So we just kind of work slightly slower uh, At a slightly slower pace at a slightly thing uh, the next side is the side that we actually hold so this already feels good um, after I do this other side. Then we start with 100 grit and work our way down. Take care.